welcome to my channel, Transforming with Sarah. Thank you for clicking on my very first video. I wanted to create this channel to share with you my transformation weight loss journey using the ketogenic diet and intermittent alternate day fasting. I'll be going from a morbidly obese to hopefully a healthy weight size. What's up everybody? Welcome to Transforming with Sarah. Thank you as always for clicking on today's video. You guys, I am so excited. Today is my six month update video on my transformation weight loss journey. I'm so excited that I have hit this milestone. I have been doing this now for half a year and I'm just so excited to share this journey with you guys. I've literally been going since the end of my first week on keto making videos and now I'm doing carnivore. Here we are, six month milestone and I'm just so excited. I feel like this is a huge marker on my journey and I know it's gonna go even further. Um, so I'm just really pumped up today and excited just to share this with you guys. Of course, I did my weigh in this morning and I'll go over those results with you guys, but also I did measurements this morning and we'll go over that as well. And I thought I would just do a small recap of my journey this far. And of course, I'll have my side-by-side -side progression photos for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so real quick before we get into all the six month madness update, I want to go ahead and for anybody who is new and does not know me, hello, my name is Sarah. I have been overweight for my entire life for basically as long as I can remember. I started dieting with my family when I was in the fourth grade. I have tried multiple, multiple diets from Weight Watchers, South Beach diet, vegetarian, um, but nothing ever worked for me. I even paired it with going to the gym or going swimming, all these things, and I could never seem to lose the weight. I actually wound up giving up on losing weight and getting healthy, telling myself that I was just meant to be big or that it just runs in my family all these pretty much just excuses to just give up on the whole dieting thing. So long story short, I stepped on the scale in 2018 and weighed in at my heaviest of 308.8 pounds. I was absolutely devastated. I found keto and actually wound up losing 50 pounds, but then long story short, I wound up gaining it all back. So in October of 2020, I recommitted my life to losing weight, getting healthy and never going back. So this is my current journey that started in October. We are now six months in. So let's just go ahead and jump right on into my weigh in, what I saw on the scale and the measurements that I am seeing from the inches being shedded off my body. Okay, so in this last month, because I only weigh in once a month now just to not stress about it, I have now lost five pounds in just one month. So for those of you keeping track, I have now lost 57 and a half pounds. That is absolutely fantastic and huge, and I'm so excited to see that number. The biggest amount of weight loss I have seen up till now was 50 pounds, and now I'm at 57 and a half, you guys. I am so excited. The reason why I'm also excited is because I have now officially 
set my goal again to 185 pounds. That's the number that I really wish to get to. It was originally at 210, but I went ahead and just moved it on over to 185. So that means I am now only three pounds away from my halfway point on my weight loss journey. I am so excited to see that the scale is continuing to go down that I'm doing it because weight is something I've struggled with my entire life. So to see the scale just three pounds away from the halfway point, see that it's lower than it has been before, I am just so excited. I know I can do it. We're only six months in and I am so, so, so excited to see what the next six months bring in what I'm gonna look like. I can't express how happy I am that this is actually working, that for the first time I actually feel the hope and know that I can achieve the goals that I am setting forth. And so yeah, let's go ahead and just hop right on into my measurements. Instead of throwing a whole bunch of numbers at you guys, I'm just going to say the total amount of inches I have lost uh, from October of 2020. Unfortunately, I did not measure myself with like the tape measure in 2018 at my heaviest. So these measurements are purely from the last six months alone. So I'll go ahead and toss those numbers out for you guys because it's so exciting to not only see the scale go down, but the inches around my body that are also going down as well. Okay, so getting into measurements, in the last six months, I have lost one and a half inches around my neck. In my chest and bust area, I have lost a total of 10 inches. In my bicep, I've actually only lost about a quarter of an inch there. And in my upper thighs, I have lost a total of seven inches. Around my calves, I have lost about two and a quarter inches there. But of course, the most exciting ones that everybody holds out for is your waist and stomach. So around my waist in the last six months, I have lost a total of 12 and a quarter inches. And then around my hips, including my lower stomach, I've lost a total of 12 and a half inches. You guys, absolutely incredible. So essentially in the last six months alone, I have lost 45 and three quarters inches just in those areas alone. Um, so I'm so excited and I do recommend if you're just starting off on your journey, take those measurements because you will be super excited when you start to see those inches go down. Um, so yes, a little over 45 inches in just six months. I am now down 57 and a half pounds. I'm feeling amazing, energized, and I'm just so excited to see where my journey goes from here. Okay, and lastly, I thought I would just kind of give a brief recap on everything I've kind of been doing within the last six months. Now, as I'm talking, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just start putting some more before and after pictures here from the beginning of my journey, as well as some most recently ones, and just some cool pictures that I like and enjoy seeing those side-by-sides of the progression in that whole transformation journey. So essentially, in the last six months, two of those months have been from doing keto and keto war. That was the first two months of my journey. Of course, I did kind of a slow progression in. I started with the uh, 20 net carbs a day, then 20 total carbs a day, and then transitioned into Ketovore, which is the more meat-based keto with a little bit of vegetable. And then most recently, of course, for a little over four months now, about four and a half, I have been doing a strict carnivore diet, meaning absolutely no vegetable, no sugar, fruit, anything like that, all meat and animal products only. Me specifically, I do keep the dairy side of it a little bit more limited and more as a treat, more or less the cheese. I don't really do milk or heavy cream, so it's really just cheese that I do here and there as a treat. And of course, with my journey, I did start exercising a little bit in there at the beginning. I think I was actually started walking on my first week. So for me, walking has pretty much been a constant for the last six months, I slowly started off with, I think like half a mile, and I'm now up to about three miles, just depending on the day, the week, you know. Um, so walking is something I have thoroughly enjoyed. Also just getting my sunshine and vitamin D. More recently within the past, I would say few months, I did get uh, like a rowing machine for indoors. So I've been doing that here and there. And then within the last month, 
I did get some dumbbells, so I've been trying to add in a little bit of weights as well as a weighted vest. I started off small with simply just walking and then I've just kind of started building up everything from there. And the only really notable thing other than just following a strict carnivore diet is I have just naturally fallen into an intermittent fasting schedule of just about 16 feet, meaning just about 16 hours without eating and then I have about an eight hour window in which I eat my meals. So for me, what does that mean is I typically just tend to eat two meals a day. I'm not really hungry in the morning. So I'll have like my breakfast lunch meal around 11 to noon will be my first meal. And then I'll have dinner uh, usually around like six to 7 p.m. And then I go all the way until 11 or 12 the next day. And it's not to say that I am just pushing myself to not eat. It's just more or less that I'm not hungry because with carnivore, with keto, I just naturally am not as hungry as I used to be. So I can go those longer amounts of time without eating, but it also just gives my body that time to heal and do other things. And then, you know, it's just less stress, less time cooking, but I'm really not hungry in the morning. So that's just naturally what has happened for me. Only other really notable things is on this way of eating, I do of course do coffee. You guys know I'm a coffee addict. I do tea here and there, uh, but mostly water. And more recently I have been doing about a gallon of water a day. Again, not forcing myself to do a gallon of water, just more or less that I am thirsty. So that's pretty much what I do. I eat nothing but meat. I am eating bacon and steak, you guys, and losing weight. I mean, how does it not get better than that? I do a little bit of exercise here and there, and so far I've seen the scale go down. I have gained a lot of energy. I am shedding inches, and it's just so incredible. And I want to just put all this out there for anyone who has struggled with losing weight or given up on losing weight like I did. That is why my channel is here and I'm just so excited to see what happens in the six months and I would love to have everybody just follow along. If you enjoyed today's video, please of course don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and just follow along on my journey and get all those updates for when I'm coming out with new videos. I will be upcoming doing more recipes or I'm also on Instagram at Transforming with Sarah. So I will go ahead and leave links below. So there you have it. Remember, until next time, stay strong, stay positive, and you've got this. Bye, everybody.